This is Jason with McGuire's Clocks. It is March 17th, 2015, and this is a 1978 model Ridgeway 5-tube limited edition grandfather clock we just finished repairing. Uh, it's in the back of the store right now, but we'll be going out to the front soon for sale. We will be asking $32.50 for it. It's a very nice design with a pinch waist. Has chrome accessories, chrome weights, chrome tubes, silver dial with brass accents on it. Brass pendulum. Nice real inlay in the base of the cabinet along with some detailing around the bottom of it. And that detailing goes all the way around the bottom of it. Solid wood construction, not a piece of filler in this. It's very heavy. Completely open all the way around columns. You don't really get that anymore. It's just too expensive for companies to do. You got inlay in the top of it. Nice seashell genuine inlay. It's not a picture put on. And you have the eagle brass finial on the top of it. Also something they don't really do anymore. It's too expensive. You got four columns. Again, it's a silver dial with brass accents. Some nice detailing in the dial. Give it a minute here to focus. It also has a unique feature that they don't really do anymore. Occasionally you'll see it, but not much. You have a month, a day, and a date on this clock that rotates. The month shows you the actual number of days in the month, and then there's a different picture for each one of those and that rotates automatically. And go around here to the side of it. There's glass panels in the side so you can see the movement. And if you can see it, it's a polished movement also. It's not their basic movement. Uh, even the tubular bells, that's an extra feature for the plates to be polished on it. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but right there, We've installed butter bearings in this, which is a wheeled ball bearing system instead of a standard steel shaft on brass hole. Uh, it adds a little power to the mechanism, which in, in the Ergos movements is a good thing. They had a little bit of a power problem when they were brand new from the factory. Now uh, they still do if you have a new one. That's why I opted to rebuild this one instead of just buying a new one. Uh, so this is our 1978 limited edition Ridgeway. Uh, welcome to come in and take a look at it. It should be on the floor in the next couple days. Uh, all the weights, everything are in really good shape on this. The chrome is in really good shape. Dial is in really good shape with only a couple spots. One showing right here. And you probably won't be able to see this, but there's a little bit right in here on the silvering around the dial that is faded. But other than that, dial is in beautiful shape actually wouldn't normally see that anyhow. Thank you. Have a good day.